I learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot. I'm listening, like, you know what I'm saying? But I know some things, like, you know, dealing with the marine biology, they break down, like, what what has more minerals, the rock or the water? What? Sorry? What has the most minerals, the rock or the water? The water. Okay. Do you all agree with that? So you see, the rock, the rock, the rock varies, you see, and the mineral content will vary, right. you see? Right. But the sea is the, the the ocean is the, the sea is the pool that collects all mineral from the mountain, the soil, and everywhere. Okay. So, so um, it's nutrients, okay. food for growing from the new. It's nothing. Okay, so huh? so do you believe the sea moss gets its nutrients from the rock, or they just use the rocks or whatever is the bottom of the ocean as an anchor? It's just an no man. It, it, it use it as an anchor man. The literature says that clearly. Mm -hmm. But you can't they get have what it is called a sticky talus. Right. Sticky talus. It's for clamping. Yeah, it, not it, feeding. They are filter it, feeders. They it, are very thin membrane. They are like filter feeders. But you, As they do yeah. this in the water, yeah. minerals move across the membrane. Right. Don't you know somebody you see? don't you know somebody told me he got the phone with me? And I said, What you? I said, You talking to me like you believe that the sea moss grow out of the rock. He said it do. I said, um, I said, yo. I said, no, it don't. It doesn't. It attaches itself to a rock as an anchor. I said, and I asked this, because he said he, he he goes into the old water and gets it out the water itself. I said, you ever see sea moss con connected to any clams or any like anything in the water? He said, yeah. I said, okay, so there you go. So that piece of sea moss is less than the one that's attached to the rock. That's what you're telling me? He said, it will oh, anchor itself the rock, it will anchor itself the corals, it will any, anchor itself the mm -hmm. anything. And I, I got a um, I got a video, a guy named Tim, Tim Tim up in in Maine. He got he I know Tim. You know Tim, yeah. He got the kind of Christmas. You watch his video. He's a marine biologist too. I got a black guy and I got a white guy. He's, he's, I don't think he's a marine biologist. I think he works with some marine no. biologists. He um check him out. He he is. He is. I don't know if he, I, um, I recall that one. I've talked to Tim quite a bit. Yeah, I yeah. Hey, check him out. But I mean, we know to clarify everything. But he got a video. He talks about all the microorganisms, everything. He talks about the rock and how it attaches itself. And I tell people, I say, listen, you go to certain videos, you'll hear people talk about how it attaches to the rock and where, you know, and this and that. And it's, it's not like it's, it's really taking everything from the rock to be nutritious. But I always tell people, listen, you got different species, find the one that's for you. Make sure where you're getting it from, the water is good. Because you're going to get some sea moss that look good and the water bad, you hit. You got problems. True. Right. <laughs> you see, that's why education is important. Stop worrying about certain things. Yeah. I worry about the heavy metal, you know. Right. I don't want to know if it have all these minerals. I just want to know that. They say the heavy metal, the toxins, low. It, it's, it's and I can get my benefit, yeah. I can get the benefits from my, my, my polysaccharides. And I will get some minerals from it, but metals, toxins, low. Mm -hmm. That's important for me. Right. Also, the, yeah. like, like how how the sea moss is dried, how it's cared for. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and, right. And contamination from moles and no, those types really, of things. That, that, that's super really, for me. The I, bottom line, I think the bottom line really here is um, until the point it's consumed, 